Senior Deputy Whip Christy Nome joining us right now from the fine state of South Dakota, a rising star in the Republican Party. And Congresswoman, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at uh, at least some of the early released remarks we got out of the White House. Not a one touches on Keystone that I've seen. He could uh, reaffirm tonight the fact that he would likely veto uh, Republican attempts to, to, to get Keystone open. What do you think of that and, and how damaging that could be? Well, I think it certainly needs to be a priority of the president. And this president's been a really great speech giver. He's just not a problem solver. And frankly, the United States, Americans need results. Uh, Keystone would do that. It would deliver a lot of our energy sources cheaper, safer, and it would make sure that we have the resources that we need into the future. You know, Keystone would go through my state, and the people of South Dakota support it. They recognize the common sense solution that it provides. Do you think that uh, the argument against it now is that oil prices have, have collapsed so much, there's really no real reason to do it? You say what to that? You know, I just say that there's another resource up there that we aren't tapping into, and the economic benefits of building that pipeline through our country are going to benefit every single small town that it goes through. For us in South Dakota, it's property taxes for communities that are strapped with their budgets. It's going to allow us some to be created. The construction jobs would certainly be helpful to grow our economy. That's what we're supposed to do, is grow our economy in a healthy manner, not with this government-controlled society the president is trying to create. People want more independence, they want security, and they want the opportunity to be successful. And that's really what Republicans and what I want to give them. Real quickly, these tax hikes the president's considering dead on arrival with you? Well, I think that we want to work together. The president, I was hoping, would come forward with solutions that he knows we could sit down around a table and discuss. It looks to me like this is a lot of political theater. Uh, he chose things that he knew would be divisive. He's done that in the past. He divides by class and by income level when really we need a unifier. Uh, right. We need a healthy economy, and we need to do it through our tax reform, and we also knew it, need to do it through trade policies. Congresswoman, a pleasure. Thank you very, very much. We'll watch closely as we will you Thanks, tonight. Uh, Scott